Hi, my name's Sam Webster. Um, I wrote a book with my friend Rhiannon. So we wrote this book, Embryology at a Glance. It's in the second edition now. Um, so me and Rhi wrote this so that it's, um, it's part of the At a Glance series. So you have a page of text and a page of images and it's broken up into chunks and it's hopefully easy to read and we've got nice illustrations and what have you. So it explains the embryology quite nicely. Now what we wanted to do is we also wanted to add animations. So Steve Atherton, um, who's got great skills in 3D animation and making 3D models, we asked him if he would be interested in making some animations for the things that we describe in the textbook, and he did, and they're beautiful, and he's made a bunch of them. The trick then is how to share them. How do you link digital stuff like an animation or a video to the physical textbook because you might have bought the textbook or you might be using the textbook in the library and if it's um, you know if, if you haven't bought the textbook it's got one of them scratchy things off on the inside and you've got to go to the website and you've got to set up an account and you've got to put the code in and then you get the extra resources and you click on the link and you get the video and then you've got to go back to the textbook and then you've got to remember what you were doing and um it's a pain. I know why publishers do it. It takes a lot of time and money to create these resources, but we, we can do it better than that. I think people make some great digital resources, and because they're not well linked to the textbook, because they're not easily linked, they're not used. So, what do we do? Well, there's two things we can do. All students these days got a smartphone, right? Who hasn't got a smartphone? So, we thought that using augmented reality... We could, um, we'd like to you to be able to use your phone, show the page in the book to your phone, and the video will then just appear on your phone like magic. We can't make it much easier than that, right? Okay, so we've got 55 odd chapters in here, and making a chapter for, uh, making an animation for every chapter, it's a lot of work. We're not going anywhere, we'll get there. Um, we've got a bunch of animations at the moment. So you can either do that, and I'll explain how to do that in a moment, using a, an app called Orasma on your iOS phone, your iPhone, or your Android phone, or your tablet. Um, or you can just go to YouTube. Go to YouTube, search for Embryology at a Glance, the name of the textbook, and then you'll find the Embryology at a Glance channel, and you'll see the animations appear there. And as we make more animations, they'll all appear in there. And also, as we make more animations, you can show your phone to the different chapters, and the animations will appear. So, uh, go grab your phone. If it's an Android phone, it might look something like this. Hit the Play Store button, go to the Play Store, and in the Play Store, let's do a search for Orasma. A-U-R-A-S-M-A. -A -A. There it is. There's the app. Uh, it says open for me because I've already got it installed, but for you it might say install. Hit install. It's free. Uh, I'm going to open it and it takes you to the app and shows you the camera. And I'm showing the camera to the textbook. So here's the textbook, but we'll come back to that. Now if you hit the A at the bottom, it takes you to this screen of stuff. But hit the magnifying glass on the bottom list and we'll do a search. Let's search for embryology at a glance the title of the textbook and here we go there's the channel touch that and then you see at the top right there it says uh, follow touch that and that'll take uh, that'll um, hit the follow button now you're following that channel so what I think that does is I think it means that your app is now going to download the videos to your device so that when you go back to the camera app if you hit that square at the bottom in the middle and you go back to the camera app and you go to a chapter and the illustrations page that is associated with a video, the video will appear over the top of the page there and play. So the video stuck to the page. If you double tap the video, it'll go full screen. And it's sideways here because this is obviously a screen grab video. Double tap it again and it'll take you back to the camera and the video will start playing again. If you want to, you see that button at the bottom uh, with the camera and an arrow, if you hit that, that will take a photo of what you can see there. 
you can share it through Twitter or Facebook or you can save that to your own photo library. If you go back, if you hit the, the, the icon of the two people in the bottom left corner, you can share this through other methods. If you hit the star on the right hand side, then you can I don't know, like it, favorite it, something like that. If you've got an iPhone, that works in exactly the same way. Go to the Apple App Store, download the Erasma app, search for the channel, follow the channel, show the Erasma camera to the book and same thing happens. You might need to set up an account, you might not, I don't know. You can make your own auras with the app, so have a play with that. If you want to use the YouTube app, then use whichever one you prefer on your phone, on your tablet, on your web browser. Do a search for embryology at a glance again. And there you go, there's the channel and a bunch of people ripping off my textbook underneath it. Uh, hit the channel uh, and you can subscribe or you can just look at the videos that are on the channel. There's the list, hit the thing, watch the video, easy peasy. So try it out. If you've bought a copy of the textbook, you can do this. If there's a copy of the textbook in the library, you can do this. If you've got the um, first edition of the textbook, it may well work with those chapters as well. Try it, you've got nothing to lose. The app is free, YouTube is free. I hope you like the animations, I do. They're very, very short, but they're hopefully really, really clear and really colorful. Um, and let us know if you like it.